any Fortnite fans in the house? Fortnite? <laughs> any of you got kids that you have to pry off of Fortnite? You know? <laughs> Okay, it's this video game for those who live under rocks. And I never heard of Fortnite. A bunch of young people invited me over for a Fortnite party. They seemed really confused when I showed up with a bunch of giant quilts and blankets. <laughs> what else would you bring to a Fortnite? Get the heavy books out and let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you guys are great. You guys are great. I hated school. Anybody just hate school? It wasn't your thing. Anybody love school? Like that? You just love See, look, we're getting to know each other. You're getting to know each other as well. This is great. My wife, she loves school, man. She talks about it all the time. She'll be like, babe, don't you ever wish you were back in school? I say, do you ever wish you were back in labor? Because this is about the same. <laughs> it's about the same level of enjoyment for me. Let's see. For the longest time, I thought Ariana Grande was a meal at Taco Bell. And <laughs> He's like, it's not? <laughs> I thought that was the number six. <laughs> Mountain Dew Light Ice, let's go. <laughs> All right. And I don't know about you guys, you're probably better at this than me, but I'll be honest with you, I don't like to check my bank account regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for overdraft! <laughs> I mean, why ruin a good day? You know what I mean? Like, some people call it irresponsibility. I call it depression management. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got some common ground. We got some common ground. And, and you know what? And speaking of money, have you guys ever noticed how people don't feel like they can have nice things? Like we all want nice things, but we don't act like we are allowed to have nice things based on something that I call the I'm not rich disclaimer. You've all heard the I'm not rich disclaimer and you've all probably done it. It's when you get complimented on a said thing and in response, you give this kind of knee-jerk explanation of how it was you became an owner of that thing. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's go with my buddy here from Michigan. Sir, what's your name? Rob. Rob. I say, Rob, that's a dope shirt, man. I like that shirt. What I would expect Rob to say is like a normal person. He'd say, thanks, I got it from? Costco. <laughs> Rob, that and the other 10 shirts just like it. I like it. It's a dope shirt in bulk. But that's what I would expect him to say. I'm just complimenting your shirt. Instead, what we all do is we start in with this I'm not rich disclaimer. I say, Rob, that's a dope shirt. Is what everybody does. He says, thanks. I got it on sale though. Half off, actually. In fact, my friend worked at the place, gave me an employee discount, and my birthday is next month, so technically it's a gift, it's a gift, it's a gift! I'm going, listen, Rob. I ain't gonna rob you, dude. I just like, I just like, sure, we're allowed to have nice things. The Bible says that God can do abundantly more than you can ask or imagine. I'm sure somewhere in that abundance, we can find a nice shirt for Rob. Instead, he's acting like I'm the IRS pulling out receipts. I did not pay full price for this! I got a Groupon at a garage sale. My dad went in on it with me. I'm not rich. I think people should just own it. I'd respect it a lot more if Rob just said, yeah, it's a dope shirt. It ought to be for what I paid for it. I need Jesus or my taxes to come back real quick, but this is a dope shirt. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.